Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Good morning. My name is Luca. I am a PM in the application and platform experience team here in OneDrive SharePoint. Uh, together with me, I have Nick, which is a senior uh, developer here in the same team, and we will talk about the new capabilities and functionalities of the car designer. So the world we are operating today is in the Microsoft Viva world, Microsoft Viva, which provides a set of tools and experiences that are tailored to specific functionalities and capabilities that are required by the employers and people to be able to express and do their best in the, in the work that they're doing every day. In the Microsoft Viva ecosystem, we have connections or Viva connection, which is basically the home and the entry point of the entire Microsoft Viva ecosystem. In connection, you can have the ability to have specific tools provided by Microsoft or provided by third parties that are uh, functioning on specific capabilities that you can use for your day-by-day -day work. Uh, like, for example, if you are a frontline worker, you can have some kind of check-in, check-out or clock-in, clock-out capabilities and functionalities. Uh, you have a set of resources that can be configured to point to specific tools that you need in the day-by-day -day work. And you have personalized communications and feeds that can provide information from Microsoft 365 uh, surf, uh, sources, just like Microsoft Stream, uh, Yammer, aka Viva Engage as well as SharePoint news posts. Uh, the Microsoft Viva connections express itself in three different uh, functional uh, devices or uh, hosts, which is the, desk, the Microsoft Teams desktop, a SharePoint page, or a Microsoft Teams mobile, which gives the ability to users to be able to access all of these resources from the point of their finger, no matter where they are, either if they are sitting at the desk in front of a laptop or if they are a deskless frontline worker with their mobile tools. If we focus on the uh, tools and applications, uh, Viva Connection has a concept of a dashboard. Dashboard has a concept of cards, and cards can be either uh, functionalities that we provide out of the box in Microsoft or can be extended by partners and customers using a SharePoint framework. Uh, and in terms of uh, uh, extensibility and implementation, you have basically in the uh, Viva Connections dashboard experience, three different categories of uh, implementation. You have what we call the new, the no-code uh, cards, which are basically cards that can be used uh, from the get-go in order to create uh, uh, an entry point to existing application. For example, we have the Teams app card that gives you the ability as an operator to configure a dashboard and point to existing Teams application. Or you have the WebLink card, which does something similar, but instead of two Teams application to uh, existing uh, web application, just like links to SharePoint pages or third-party sites. Then we have the what do we call the low-code, which is where the card designer sits, uh, where you can basically still create a card as an operator, and you can inject the, some kind of logics and uh, UX using adaptive card in order to create uh, functions, functionals. That's the right word I was looking for. Functionals, card view, and quick views. And then you have the pro dev capabilities where you basically can create custom cards from zero using a SharePoint framework and connect this card to personal application using Teams tabs and meeting application or web part extensions and application pages uh, that are part of the extensibility framework of SharePoint. Uh, today, we already have the card designer. The card designer today gives the ability to create card views and quick views, but it's a little bit limited in terms of capabilities because the only thing that you can do with the card designer today is that when you create the quick view, you can still basically have control of the full-fledged um, adaptive card JSON that uh, powers the quick view itself, but you cannot inject custom, uh, sorry, you cannot inject dynamic data. The only data that you can put there uh, is data inside the JSON itself, which is pretty static. So as part of these new functionalities, we are introducing ad advanced capabilities in the card designer. So with that kind of new functionalities, what we can do, we are basically giving the opportunity for the operator to uh, introduce some kind of API calls and some kind of injecting dynamic data in the, uh, in the views of the card itself. Uh, the way that it works is basically we give the opportunity to the designer itself while the card gets configured 
the ability to select if you can want to access SharePoint data or Microsoft Graph data, and then we give the, you the opportunity to insert this data in the uh, while building the views in in the card itself. Uh, right now, we are uh, limited in the in the type of data that you can access to SharePoint data and Microsoft Graph data for scopes that have been previously uh, approved inside the tenant. So if you are familiar with the extensibility model of SharePoint, you can you know that through the SharePoint framework, you can already create widgets, web parts, full pages, applications, extensions, or even Teams application in your tenancy that can access uh, APIs, including Microsoft Graph. While doing that, you basically uh, interact with the administrator so that the administrator can approve uh, these permissions and he or she can approve that in the uh, SharePoint tenant administration page. If the administrator happen to uh, approve scopes for Microsoft Graph, those scopes will be available through the uh, card advanced capabilities in the card designer. Uh, the good news about this flow is that we have uh, taken a proactive approach. Uh, what I mean by that is that we are not, we are proactively making the card available with no interaction from the administrator. We still provide a governance capability to, to the administrator, and we will show that in a second in the demo, meaning that the administrator still has control of what the card can do in terms of being enabled or disabled, but the administrator is not getting involved during the implementation of the card and the configuration of the card. The administrator can be can act to, by disabling the card only after the fact. So the card will be available immediately. No admin uh, tasks and steps required for the cards to be available, but the admin can still control the card after the facts. With that said, I will hand the mic to Nick, which is going to show us how this new functionality works. Yeah, thank you, Luca. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, fair warning. The last time that I did uh, a screen share with a large group, uh, we did have some te technical difficulties. Um, so if that does happen, Luca will step in uh, with a recorded video. But as you can see here, this is the uh, Viva Connections dashboard page. Um, and so I'm acting right now as a as a regular user that, that has permissions to edit this dashboard, so a dashboard operator. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new card designer. Uh, and so Let's go ahead and configure some of these properties really fast. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at uh, uh, the lists that are in the root site. So let's go ahead and call this card My Lists. Um, and we'll say lists. Um, so in the root site, most of this um, is kind of uh, unchanged you know, from the existing card designer experience. Um, but as we go through these different settings, we're going to set uh, this card designer to show the quick view. Um, right now, you know, there's one quick view uh, that appears when you click on the card. And down here, you can see uh, a drop down for configuring a different data source. Right now, uh, this is what we have currently. It's just a, a static JSON blob. But going forward, you can now select, a, a, like, for example, a Microsoft Graph API. Um, and when we come over, over to the Graph Explorer, which is a really useful resource for um, understanding what APIs are available, there is a cool tab down here um, called Adaptive Cards. Um, so I, if you are working with Adaptive Card Markup, this is really useful for kind of giving you a template um, right off the bat that matches uh, the data that's coming back from this API. So we're going to take a look at the V1 uh, Sites Root Lists API. So let's go ahead and paste that in, and we'll test it. And we'll see down here that uh, the result of that response is, is kind of previewed to us. Um, and then we'll go ahead and take this template and we'll paste it over. <laughs> we'll paste it over into the Adaptive Cards Designer right here. Um, and we can kind of see, you know, this is what this will look like. And we can take our sample and paste it over into the Adaptive Cards Designer as well. And uh, this one, it doesn't quite do anything um, interesting, but normally you would sort of build your card up in here. We've got this Viva Connections host app, so this will um, be a, a pretty good resource for, for seeing how your uh, card view um, will actually look. So with that being said, we you know you can come in here and modify this. Um, let's say we like this, uh, this template that we've created. We're going to go ahead and 
paste it up here into the template JSON body. And when we click apply, this is actually going to save our card. Um, and in a second, I'll show you what that looks like in the app catalog. But uh, we'll save this and we'll go ahead and publish this page. And then you'll see when we click on the list, we have um, this data that's coming back from the Microsoft Graph API that's pointing, um, you know, giving us kind of a list of all the lists in, on the root site. And uh, obviously this button is already hooked up. So you click on it, it'll take you directly to that site. Um, and so I'm not gonna give away too much of the roadmap here, but there, there is a lot of stuff we're looking at in terms of, um, you know, making this experience a little bit better, bringing in some of uh, the features from the adaptive card designer um, and the graph API just to, to to make this where you're not necessarily jumping between a bunch of different tabs. Um, so now we have created this card. And if I flip over and take a look in the app catalog as the site administrator, you can now see um, that the that card has now appeared um, as an SP package in the app catalog. So this could be deleted. Um, this could be disabled. Uh, it could be downloaded and edited and re-uploaded, um, all sorts of cool stuff. So uh, well, we'll go ahead and show deleting this. Um, if you do delete it, this is like a fully fledged SPFX um, package. So it'll this will the behavior here will be similar um, to if you just deleted an SP package that you had uploaded. Uh, but when we go back to the dashboard and we uh, let's go back and out of edit mode here. Uh, well, you will see yeah, that the, the card is no longer renderable to the user. So if there is a reason that the tenant admin wants to disable it, they can do that. Um, and, and, and end users will no longer be seeing that. So this was a pretty quick demo. I know we're running out of time, um, so I'll hand it back to Luca. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Very quickly, uh, before I give back to Veza for the uh, closure messages, uh, we are planning to ship this feature this calendar year. We are also, I think I feel pretty confident to say that we want to ship this feature this quarter. So stay tuned to see news about this feature coming up to your tenant. Thank you.